you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell for notifications for our next tutorials and upcoming vlogs. Hello and welcome back to UK Carp Fisherman. I'm Andy, if you haven't seen me before, um, and this week we are going to be teaching you and giving you a step-by-step -step guide of how to tie the chod rig, which is an absolute killer of a rig. Now there's a few components you're going to need to tie this. Let's crack on and get straight into it. Now the components needed are a choddy hook with an outturned eye, a stiff monofilament, now this chod filament is perfect for that, a small rig ring, a size 11 ring swivel, some tungsten putty, some bait floss, some pulley tools, and some scissors and a lighter for blobbing down the ends. So to create this choddy rig, we want to start off by taking six, seven inches of our chod filament. And then we want to take our outturned choddy hook and just thread through the back of the hook. And leave about two inches of tag line, which we use to create the D section of the rig. We then want to make a knot as knot, wrap around probably four, five, six times, thread back through the eye of the hook, creating our knot that's not. We then want to take our rig ring, thread that onto the tag, take that tag end and put it back through the eye of the hook. Pull this down, put it down fairly tight for a start. Now, you probably want to leave, probably trim it down to a centimetre, like so. Just get rid of that one. We then want to just blob down the end. That's nice and blobbed. We can then take a little tool and just open up this D section, run it back, creating a lovely D section for our rig ring. Now with our chod rig made at the hook end, with our D section and our rig ring for attaching our hook paint, we then can choose the height of our chod rig depending on the situation you are fishing. Now, I roughly want about four inches. So something around that. I then take my ring swivel, attach that. Place that where I want it and fold it over. Now with that folded over, I will pinch the swivel and the line slightly to create a little gap. Now we're going to tie a half blood knot, so we only need really two turns because of the stiffness of this chod filament. I'm going to pass it back through the eye that we first created. Now you just want to slightly moisturise it. Just 
slowly tease it down. May have to take some pulley tools. There we go. I've got a half blood knot. Bit of a tie going there. I need to tidy up. Now we just want to trim down the end. Need about another centimetre. Take a lighter again. Blob the end. There we go. That neat as a whole lot. Chod rig complete. Now you can see it's quite straight and we want a fairly aggressive curve on that so it turns in the fish's mouth. So we just run it through your fingers and just follow the curve of the hook. It gives me a fairly aggressive curve. It's not quite right. You can take your time with this. Just so you get it exactly how you want it. There we go. Now we have a fairly aggressive turn. So it turns in the fish's mouth. Now we want to take some putty to help balance our hook bank. Little piece out here. One side, just roll it around your hands to warm it up. And we can attach that to the bottom of our swivel around that blood knot, will help secure it. And just create a little barrel. Like that. We then take our chosen hook bait, which here is going to be a 15 mil popper, and take thread it onto our body needle. Do not stab yourself because it hurts. A little bit of bait floss. Thread it through the eye. Some people tie it on. But I thread it through the eye. Grab the two ends. And just slide that on over. Pull it through. So he sits there like that. Trim off the end. Again, take our lighter, blob down the floss, blob it on the end, and there you have it. The chop rig. Ideal solution for anywhere with some chod, silt, and even a bit of weed will sit perfectly above the surface of that silt weed and as you can see that's turning lovely anywhere in the fish's mouth there you have it guys the chod rig is now complete absolute killer of a rig now get on out there get some bits tie it yourself give it a go let me know how you get on in the comments and we will see you next time and we will be talking you through the lead core helicopter setup so you can either attach the last two of the tutorial rigs we have done for you the first one being the spinner rig so if you haven't seen that make sure you go back have a look at the spinner rig tutorial and also you'll be able to apply the chod rig to that setup as well now if you haven't already guys hit that subscribe button hit that bell button for notifications of the next tutorial coming along soon and until next time Thank you.